Hey everyone, wanted to get with you, get you a little freight update and get you updated on events that happened at the Port of Baltimore over uh, the last week. Freight update, we are entering harvest season. So we're starting to see planting equipment start to slow down and we're moving into that harvest equipment, balers, combines, combine heads, things like that. So all the sprayers and all the uh, planters and all irrigation equipment, that's at our dealers now. We delivered a lot of that. Um, that's gonna be put into the fields and getting ready for planting season here. And then now what our equipment shippers are producing is harvest equipment. So you'll see a little change out of some of your ship sites and out of some of the equipment uh, that we're gonna be putting on your trailers moving forward. I'm happy to um, let everybody know that almost all of our seasonal tarp uh, freight has been lifted. So that means we're out of the winter season. Uh, customers are no longer worried about that winter weather and salt on the roads and things like that getting on their products. So you will start to see less tarp freight. Uh, I mentioned the Port of Baltimore, the unfortunate uh, incident that happened last week with the bridge collapse there has definitely put a ripple through our freight network and our customers um, efficiency and economic, uh, economic footprint. So what are we hearing from our customers? Basically, um, we are still seeing a lot of freight out of the port that was already delivered in containers uh, already. So you're still going in there. I know I've I fielded a few phone calls with drivers asking if they were open and, and things like that. So if anything has been delivered, yes, we can, we can go pick up that freight and take it as we normally do. But we are starting to see customers divert container ships to other ports. The one that we have seen pick up more than any is Newark, New Jersey. Um, so that's a port we, we typically don't go into a lot. Um, but we are seeing capacity being forced into that port. We do expect uh, more capacity to be um, sent to Brunswick, Georgia, Savannah, Georgia, those ports down there, and Galveston, Texas. Those ports are equipped for the equipment that we haul. Um, so customers are making those adjustments. Uh, it's gonna be months until the Port of Baltimore is up and running like we're used to seeing it. There's over 100,000 tons of debris to be cleaned up out of that um, channel. They did just yesterday open up a temporary channel at the Port of Baltimore, um, just north of the one that you were the typically using, but that one's only 11 feet deep. Big container ships cannot go into that temporary channel. So we're going to be dealing with these issues um, for months to come. So I appreciate your patience. We'll keep everybody updated as things progress and we get communication from our customers. We'll relay that all to you guys. I wanted to touch a little bit on preventative maintenance, um, A and B services. We've done a really good job of staying on top of our B services. That's the big one. Um, after 75,000 miles where um, we need to get our trucks into the shop, but um, we've slipped a little bit behind on A services. And I hear a lot from hunt drivers that they're trying to get to Omaha to get their services done. We wanna make sure we're use, utilizing all of our shops throughout the country. We don't wanna just wait until it's convenient to get through Omaha. We've got the, we've got the um, ability to use all of Crete's um, shops throughout our entire network. There's pretty much not a region in this uh, country that you can't get through a shop when um, you've got some downtime or under a load or anything like that. So make sure um, you're making plans to utilize that um, map of shops. If you don't know where they all are, get with your dispatcher. We can let you know um, where they are. And one, uh, one thing to take a note that is Wednesdays is when our shops typically have overlapping schedules. So Wednesday is a very good day to get a service done. And we all know on weekends, um, we have limitations with some of our shippers and receivers. So our, all, all, most of our shops have weekend hours too. So if you have, you have a day where you're taking a 34 or something like that, um, go ahead and get into the shop and get that A service done.
Um, last thing, we've got some new and exciting uh, technology that we're introducing at Hunt. We've got a new way to be more efficient with the way we send out our permits to you guys and how we send out our bill of ladings to you guys on the front end. We have some shippers that require us to go into the shipper with the bills of lading before we get there. And right now it's a manual process. Um, now we're able to get that sent to you um, at time of dispatch. And we're also able to get you your, your permits when um, the permitting service or the state sends us the permits. So what we need from you guys is to get with your dispatcher, driver manager, and get them the accurate email that you want that communication from. So it's making us much more efficient. It's gonna get you your information quicker. Um, we just need that proper channel, that, that accurate email to get that to you. So make sure you relay that to us and um, let us know how that communication's going. We can always make adjustments to that and how it fits your schedule and how you operate. So. Be safe out there, appreciate everything you're doing, and have a great month.